Hey there, you filthy animals, Mr. Dirty, back with another episode of Porta Patty, and today our Porta Patty is coming from Ego Kellogg's. Boom, here we got the Ego Breakfast Line of Sandwiches, new in stores, and this is the package you're looking for if you're looking for this in stores. And this one of this variety is going to be the Sausage, Egg, and Cheese Waffle Sandwich. You can find this in your local grocer, the frozen food section. Now on the front here it says savory sausage, fluffy eggs, and melty cheese. So a couple other varieties here. We got just the plain egg and cheese, and then there looks like there's a bacon egg and cheese variety also. Just want to check that out right there on the back. There's a couple other ones to look for. Our microwave instructions say remove the frozen sandwich from the plastic wrap, place the sandwich on top of a folded paper towel on a microwave safe plate, and microwave on high for one uh, a minute and 15 seconds actually, or until hot, let stand for one minute. Before we get into all that, let's see what's inside this box. Alright, so inside it looks like a bunch of these little guys. What do we got in here? Four of these guys? Yeah. This box comes with four. Check that out, Slinky. And inside there's your teeny tiny little squashed up patty. The size of my hand right there, it's the size of what you get. They say we can bust this out of the wrapper, so let's do so. Let's get a closer look. And kind of disappointing. This side we've got like complete waffle. And then this side not so much. It just looks like a uh, bottom of a hamburger bun. Inside we've got our little frozen sausage disc. And that's supposed to be our egg disc. Where's our cheese hiding at? The cheese is hiding under the sausage. You can kind of peek in there, you can kind of see the cheese. It's like a tiny little square of cheese. It's like a morsel of f***ing cheese. Ah, there, it's lifted off. Honestly, that's how much cheese you get. To put it in proportion, if you had like a, a complete single American cheese slice and you cut it into quarters, this is a quarter of a slice. That's ridiculous. It actually does smell kind of sweet. Right off the bat, this is looking uh, extremely ridiculous. So I'm going to go throw this in the microwave, nuke it up. I'll be right back and we'll check out the finished product. Stick around. Alright guys, I'm back. I got our finished product out of the microwave. Uh, it cooked for the minute and 15 seconds. It came out. We flipped the patty over and checked it. And sure as still cold. Something like this, if you don't have like the... Uh, the bluish gray microwavable panel compartment to cook this in or your instructions say to take it out of the plastic bag and cook it you're always going to see a failure in your cooking time and your results when it comes out after following their cooking instructions that never works out we actually had to open face this bad boy and cook it for like an additional 15-20 seconds to make sure this sausage patty that was still cold the first time around was completely heated thoroughly. The cheese wasn't melted thoroughly. We had to pop that in there until it was bubbly. But overall, I mean, look at this pencil thin. That's the waffle that they're talking about right here. That is like a sheet of waffle. That's ridiculous in its own. Basically, uh, looks like they squandered all their money here on this big fat fluffy egg patty that looks like an egg beater yellow disc. Let's reassemble this bad boy here. I'm going to cut it in half. We're going to give it a go. Alright, so this is our uh, new from Ego breakfast sandwiches. The sausage, egg, and cheese. Here we go. Did I get a bite with everything there? I did. Wow, completely flavorless sausage. Absolutely, and as I'm looking at the patty here, you check out that cross section. What you don't see are like the little red flakes, like none of the actual seasonings that would turn pork and make it, give it that flavor of sausage. It has none of that. Everything that would give this flavor, they've omitted out of the ingredients for some reason, it seems. You can't even taste that fucking egg. Jesus Christ. There is a bit of a sweetness in the waffle itself. As I can see, there are some dark spots, which leads me to believe that there's like a 
the maple syrup flavor nuggets in there that you hit once in a while that kind of make it seem real sweet. That's the only bit of flavor that it has and it's in total aftertaste. Like not even immediately after you swallow when you sit there. The whole time that I've been talking it's taken that long for this taste to creep up on me. To give me the uh, maple waffle kind of flavor going on. And that's it. It's just an aftertaste. You'd have to load this with condiments. Salt and pepper the shit out of it. Add ketchup, something, hot sauce, anything to give this flavor and to bring it to life. And you shouldn't have to do that at all. It should have come right out of the box with that burst of flavor that you're looking for when you're buying sausage patties. Yeah, this shit has nothing on Jimmy Dean whatsoever. From the size, the proportion of the ingredients that were used, the cooking instructions, the overall flavor. This is one hell of a fucking flop. I mean, it just came out of the gate and fell on its face. I'm giving this a 2 out of 5. Alright, so if you had this already, let me know what you think. You can leave me a message down in the comment section. You can also follow me on Twitter at TheRealMrDirty. And as always, get out of here and go have a rotten day.